welcome everybody to another top five video. And this top five video will be our third top. Oh my goodness, the return of the blue mic. Because the last couple episodes, I actually attempted to record this three times. Both times the mic kind of uh, went awry, like the black mic that I usually use. But this time, hopefully, or I did test it a couple of times. It's actually rather loud now, so hopefully this is a better mic. But without further ado, this top 5, as well as any top 5, will be based on my opinion if you don't agree. Please leave your own top 5 in the comment section below. Let, let's get this discussion going. So, this will be top 5 normal type Pokemon. There's a lot of top 5 normal type. I actually cheated a bit and did the top 5 water type instead of doing it alphabetically. Because water type is going to be like the final final list because of the alphabets and then it's also the largest pool of pokemon out there so and i just wanted to do water type pokemon because i think water type is a really good pokemon typing most actually underrates it so yes it's better that way and this is there's only a limited amount of titans that we need there's a lot of other top 5 Pokemon I can do aside from this kind of top 5, like gym leaders, starters, legendaries, mythical, there's a lot more. And I'm planning to do some top 5 anime characters as well, so I'm really loving this kind of format for that for a top 5. So without further ado, please leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon anime related content. Without further ado, let's get on to number 5. Number 5 will be Belissi, like seriously. This Pokemon mostly common in usually as a chancy and then put as a put with a every light but for me i prefer this because i feel like this is a much more adorable nature i feel like one of those pokemon that should have been a fairy type but regardless the belt the exp yeah, like it's a very popular pokemon not to mention i actually have had trouble recording the clips right there right there in the top because, well, I had Blissy, I had EV trained this Blissy specifically to show people who would protect Toxic. I'm, I'm that kind of guy who trained a Blissy purely for HP to actually have Toxic Thunderwave substitute. <laughs> yes, I'm that kind of guy, and even Softball. So, yes, I'm the kind of guy that trains Blissy like that. I'm a chill kind of competitive gamer when it comes to that stuff. So, I had, I had trouble recording that because I have no offensive move and I, I really want to show up Blissey in, in this battle, so... Yes, I had to teach my Blissey some offensive moves as much as it pains me to teach him some offensive moves. So, number 5 will be Blissey, and let's proceed to number 4. 4 would be Norlax. Like, firstly... This is, this is probably the one Pokemon that is represented the most, the most iconic in anime and video games. It's, it's the, in video games, it's popular as a roadblock for characters. Like in X and Y, it's literally a roadblock before you reach the second gym. So, yes, it's a pretty popular roadblock in, in the anime. It's also a roadblock, but it's a really iconic Pokemon. Ash even loves using his own Snorlax. Like, I mean, that's just for me, that's the most iconic one, and even if you're not a fan of Pokemon, everyone knows who this Mofo is, so, yes, just for the fact that it's a very iconic Pokemon, and it's a very bulky, and I use bulky and kind of tanky, kind of offensive, it can also be offensive kind of Pokemon, I love it, I freaking love everything about Snorlax, Snorlax, Lowrise, freaking stat-wise, based on how iconic it is, so, yes. It's enough for me to put it in my number four spot in my top five. Without further ado, let's proceed on to number three. Mm. It's a, it's actually a tie between Pelgon Z and Pelgon Two because these both are essentially so goofy, goofy looking Pokemon. It's just a derp, goofy, derpy, like derpy kind of Pokemon, and it's a rubber duck. Like how can you hate rubber ducks? And not to mention, it's. The fact that it's more popular than the available form of it, like Pokemon Z, the fact that it's popular in every light form, like, damn, I love the design for both the Pokemon line. Like, 
I really would love it if they have another episode where Paragon was a star because the last episode, the last and the very first episode that Paragon was featured and it was banned all across the world because of the seizure thing. So I really did hope that there's more Paragon, Paragon in the anime. Despite that fact, I love Paragon in the competitive, I love the design for Paragon. It's a really dopey design, a rubber duck that can be as bulky as you want, as as long as you don't evolve, I don't. I think Paragon really loses that kind of bulk because of that Eevee light. Because Eevee light is definitely one of the assets that you can use. Uh, with, uh, one of the assets for Paragon 2 because it can still evolve. So for me, Paragon 2, yes. And funny thing about recording this is I haven't actually used Paragon 2 in life. So I already decided that I will prefer. Paragon 2 because I'm designed alone, I prefer the design. Because I, most of the time, I just evolve it directly to Paragon Z. So, yes. I, I was struggling and hesitating, and that I actually ultimately trained a Paragon 2 straight from X. No, not X. Sun and Moon, like I traded it to Pokemon, I Pokemon Home that from Sun and Moon that I never actually even trained. So, Yes, that's a freshly new trained Pokemon. Right. <laughs> you see it in the screen. So number three, Paragon 2. Slash Paragon Z. So I just love that entire line. So without further ado, let's proceed to number two. Sweet lover who can breed with any Pokemon in the Pokedex, as with the exception of the legendaries and mythicals, Ditto. Like, the fact that Ditto, like, there's a theory out there that Ditto is a full clone of me because the fact that only Mew and Ditto can learn transforming the same colors for both regular and shiny Mew and Ditto. So, I love that theory, the connection with Mew, there's also the Derpy design, a <laughs> cute Derpy design, and the Derpy, also the Derpy anime episode with the mysterious mansion of Ditto, right there, who, which he can, it actually, it's one of the growth oriented episodes in the anime because of how Ditto's at first set at transforming it can transform its face. I love that episode. One of my favorite episodes of season one and speaking of which that's probably another top five. Top five anime uh, Pokemon anime episode. So for me Ditto just holds that special place in my heart based on the anime and like the Connection with Mew, like the theories and connection to Mew. And then, of course, the Sweet Lover Kevin, <laughs> because it can actually build with any Pokemon. And secondly, this Ditto Rate is one of my competitive Pokemon. Like, I love using this one back when I was doing Wi Fi battles. Yes, because I always spam it. I use. Because this, is, this has a speed IVs maxed out and then speed EVs. So, and very. Fast as well, very speed oriented Pokemon slap some choice scarf into it and then um, the faster version would of any Pokemon. Not to mention it has the even ability imposter which doesn't even need transform anymore. Just right out of the gate transform to any Pokemon that my enemies or my opponents throws at me. So yes, number two would be the badass derpy. Data. Without further ado, let's go on with number one. Is it any surprise that number one is Eevee? Like, I played Pokemon Let's Go Eevee first, more than Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, because I freaking love Eevee. Like, it's just so cute. Like, I freaking love cute Pokemon in general. And like, Eevee is that cute Pokemon. The shiny is cute. I love the regular form. Like, the fact that it can be whatever you want. Like, it can be a fairy type, it can be a psychic type, it can be a bug. Bug type, yeah, but yeah, funny. No, Eevee doesn't have bug type. It can be a grass, <laughs> it can be an ice type, and anything. It's very, it's a very flexible Pokemon. Like for me, Eevee is just cute, adorable, badass, and this is just a freaking joke kind of Pokemon. I love it. But one Eevee of my, I, I was totally building Eevees since in my Pokemon X and Y days, and then I actually decided one of my highest IV start kind of easy to just let it be an 
Victor. Yes, this EV is straight up from X and Y. In the highest, I used that. I maxed out the level. I maxed out everything in the stat department for this EV. So, just, just to chill. Just having fun with Ruben because I freaking love how cute EV is. I love the fact that it's a counterpart to Pikachu back in the Pokemon Yellow era and how the rival Pokemon, the rival Pokemon for the Pokemon Yellow era is an EV. Like, I love that fact. So, number one is EV. I freaking love EV. Like, it's such a cute little box Pokemon. Yeah, for the day, that would be my top five. Now that would be my top five normal pet Pokemon. I finally finished recording this episode because I recorded this three times. Now this is the third time recording this episode because it didn't work. The mic wasn't working for this episode. I, I nearly gave up and just recorded with my other PC. Then. But turns out something is wrong with that mic. So hopefully I have great audio and have this one sexy voice. And yeah. as for the subscriber shout out, the recent recent subscriber is Tyra. Thank you for subscribing, Tyra. And if you guys wanted to be shouted out, if you love to be shouted out next episode or next video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon anime. Mm -hmm. If you guys disagree with this top five, please let me know in the description, description comments below what other top five normal type you like that I didn't mention in this. Yes, and let's get this discussion going, and what should I do? There's also a whole ton of videos out there, so one of them is a playlist, and the other is a playthrough, and if you want to check out my channel, there's a little circle right in the middle there. Check it out, I would make a lot of anime and popular well, anime, oh my god. I hope that you guys didn't know that. I have a lot of, I love anime, like, in general, like, look at this anime rich background, of course. Oh, of course, it's not freaking weed. So without further ado, see you guys next time and gotta catch them all.